Uh, am I right or wrong? Have the officials got most of what they've been asked to do today correct? I would say they've got it correct. Good decisions. Um, pretty straight. First one straightforward. It's a penalty. Well, is it? I've seen those, John, not given and, and, and said, come on, there's a reason that it should be. Uh, I think nine out of ten referees would give that as a penalty. Would you agree? I would agree. But I do, th I do think there is the odd occasion you wouldn't get it. But the simple fact of the matter is, it is a penalty. You know, two people coming from opposite directions are going to collide. Look how they got there as well. Nothing fancy. Nothing Even fancy. Well, let's touch. When you're, when you're Crystal Palace and you have Christian Benteke, then why don't you do that? And then Saha, with his pace, just got to the wrong side. Is there an argument he's taken the opportunity? Well, no, he's in mid-air, both of them. If you look at when they make contact, neither player is on the ground. Watch, Saha's off the ground, keeper's off the ground. Yeah. There's two people in mid-air colliding. Now, if the goalkeeper decides, I always think, if the goalkeeper decides to go that far yes. without stopping, if he'd have gone to about two or three yards and waited, OK, and then there was impact, you can see it not yeah. being given. The onus is on the goalkeeper to put the brakes on. Yeah. And not... The goalkeeper's continue. got to get the ball yes, he's somewhere got, along the if line. If he doesn't get the ball... It's a penalty. And it's a very good example, as the boys were saying, in commentary of double jeopardy, isn't it? Having conceded the penalty, there's no reason for the keeper to have to go off. No, no He's made a genuine not. attempt to yes. play the ball. You know, if he, and the thing that would save me, if he, if, even if he got fingertips to this, when he's played it there, if it had hit him in the hand, it would have been play on. Yeah. That's how close it is. That's how difficult it is. But Poor defending from Liverpool. We've got to yeah. talk about the defending. The, the, the centre-half hasn't won the header. The full-backs haven't dropped in, given yeah, yeah. depth. The other centre-half's going to give depth, anticipating he's going to lose a header, because yeah. he is very good there. But... Do you know that, young, I think it was young Trent Alexander, remember, I remember we did the Manchester United game against Liverpool. Remember the goals that they scored? Mm. And we talked about the first goal they got scored, when the same thing happened, Rashford, from a long ball, Lukaku won the header, and Rashford yeah. ran inside Trent Alexander-Arnold and scored the goal. And that was in one up. That was a carbon copy of what you did then. Somewhere deep in my mind, and again, I offer the invitation, happy to be corrected, I think few, if any, teams have had more penalties this year than Palace. And they've only missed the one, the big one, of course. Yeah, what was that, eight they've had? Seven, eight? Uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly right up there. Yeah. Right up there. It's not Marnie's afternoon, is it? <laughs> certainly not. Uh, but initially I thought it was a penalty, I've got to say, when I first saw it. But when you see it in slow motion, the referee has got the right decision. There is a touch but it's a delayed reaction. And the referee's well, thought about it long and hard. It's a penalty. But just because it's a touch doesn't mean it's... doesn't mean it's... you should fall over. It doesn't say how much See, it's a touch. Yeah, but if somebody touches you, you don't fall over. Do you agree? Watch, watch his standing foot there. Right, but he's still on it. And then it's his flicked and off his see, other foot. Where I, where I have a... <laughs> I don't know if we've got time, but where I have a problem with this is that I, I, am, a, I am certain that if VAR was working today, here they're given a penalty. Agreed. Right? Therein, therein lies another problem for me because, as John says, when there's contact the penalty area, every bit of contact doesn't mean there's a penalty. It really doesn't. No. Otherwise, we'll be looking at every single piece of contact that we have well, in the penalty area. Well, there's not area. much difference between what we've seen there and the penalty that England conceded the other night, really. There's, there? there's no difference for me. Both, both defenders made contact with the player. But in the, the Italian game... It's a ridiculous decision against Tarkovsky, in my opinion. I didn't think it was a penalty. Yeah. I think the kid was w halfway to the ground. But wasn't it a matter contact. of fact the other night? No, the fact was it was a contact, yes. But that doesn't, as we said, that doesn't mean look, there is a penalty. But it's look, a matter of fact, look, isn't it? He's, look. Touched him, but the, he's, he's touched him, but the touch doesn't knock oh, him over. That's, that's ridiculous, Richard, what he did there. But there is a, a touch. touch. Yes. Yeah, 100% there's a touch. So, but it's the a penalty. Touch, no, it's not, because <laughs> yeah. the touch never knocked him over. But you think VAR would give a penalty? No, I don't think so. That, see, that's the danger. Who, who's reading the VAR? Because I've played football. If somebody touches me, I shouldn't go down all the time. There's a touch that makes you, knocks you off balance, and there's nothing you can do. You go down. But that touch outside the area, you, I bet you, if that had been outside the area, Manny would have stayed on his feet, yes. collected the football and gone on, right? Yeah. Because he's inside the area, he knows I'm getting the penalty. So if you're before. right, and he knows that if VAR was looking at that, he will be encouraged more often than not to go down, won't he? Because he'll get the decision from the technology. So we're actually making the problem worse. Uh, well, I, I think that showed in, on midweek when England conceded a penalty. If that situation happens in the World Cup, 
and, and a club loses the World Cup or a country goes out of the World Cup on a, on, a, on a decision the likes of which we saw at Wembley on Wednesday would be a, an absolute joke. So it would be, be interesting to have 50 managers, 50 defenders and 50 strikers to see who decides. So it is the case, see, see as what I the keep stats saying, would be, that a matter of fact, split. yeah, a matter of fact very, very quickly becomes a matter of opinion. Yes. Yes, because every touch and every piece of contact, you know, if you just touch someone's shirt like that, so you in slow motion, if I do that to John there, right? It's as contact. little as that. If I suddenly slow that down the way it is, it Lynn looks like I've done that to him. It's true. And that's the trouble with slow motion, Richard, as well. And if you felt that, would you go over? I wouldn't, but certain players would. Well, I'd have to think. Certain players do. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> All the time. Six foot one. They are being stolen. I'd have to think about that. <laughs> Hit the deck. Just in the interests of accuracy, once again, uh, <laughs> the officials were correct yes. when they disallowed the goal that Marnie thought he'd scored. Because yes. He was offside. And incidentally, he has been booked previously for diving when he was at Southampton. Yeah, he's a little unlucky there. I mean, Wayne Hennessy, I think, is really pleased because he, he could easily just come and punch this. But we always talk about marking goalposts. Well, this is the situation that's worked for them. Because if they had anyone on the post, he wouldn't have been offside. Yeah, it's an easy one for the linesman. Yeah, to, simple, the isn't linesman it? to give. He's up well. It's yeah, good he finish. Is. Credit to him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's two incidents I'm sure that Jurgen will win. At Palace having been a goal down, that does nothing for Palace's hopes of survival. They're nope. still, you would think, six, seven points short. And let's look at the games. Every team below them has got games on them. Every team above them have got games on them. They've played more games than anyone else. I know there's a lot of games coming up this afternoon, but that table's going to change a bit today, I would imagine. Liverpool takes second again from Manchester United. Later. Uh, Mo Salah, player of the year? I think most definitely. He scores goals, he's creating goals. Big goals, important goals, winning goals. Yep. Without a doubt, I think De Bruyne has been outstanding. David Silva has been outstanding. But when you score as many goals, obviously Harry Kane, we've got to mention him as well. But when you're scoring so many goals week in, week out, he deserves it. And on top of that, it's his first season in the Premiership. What a take again, wasn't it? It's a lovely take, Richard, a, a guy who's full of confidence. But I would like to mention Andrew Robertson. When this ball goes to the far post, there's an awful lot of players would have been tempted to put their laces through that and try for that a World Cup goal. What Robertson does beautifully, he just controls it. He's, he's looking for Firmino here, and he just overhits it a little bit, but Salah's right on the spot. It, to one touch and in. It typifies Klopp's tactics. This comes in from one side. That's normally a winger that's up there. That's your left back, Robertson, in that, mm. that position. Mm. And they deserve to win and score goals when you're committing bodies yeah. forward. I mean, it's such a lovely touch from Andrew Robertson, this. It's not easy. No. And look at the way he just feeds it in there, beautifully. And it's just composure, Salah, yeah. fully confidence. Yeah, right. I'm sure would have tried to hit it first time. No, he's, he's, cushion, there, he's cushioned it in, and again, he's full of confidence. But yeah, Clive Allen mentioned it. He made it look easy. I think that's that's the only thing you would say about. This is the equaliser. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why Sacco, for me, is trying to bring the ball down on his chest at the edge of his own box against a team at Liverpool because they'd never recover from it. And that's what happens. Just head the thing clear. And, and watch Sacco's... Def what, what's the defending? Watch him watching the ball. He's got to be looking over his shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Check. Always tell defenders, check your shoulder. Look what's behind you. He doesn't know he's there. Now he's just, both just gone Shocking. Outside. Ball watching from Sacco. Poor defending, but good play. Good play from Liverpool. Mm. Mm. Um, Manny, of course, who... Might count himself fortunate to have not been sent off for a collection. Well, he, should, he should have been sent yellows. off. He should go off. I don't know what I don't know what the official is thinking about here. No, now deliberate handball is a is a yellow card offence. Now even though he thinks he's been fouled, he cannot then grab the ball. The referee didn't give the free kick. Now the laws of the game are. So ref, a the ref, are attacking that end, aren't yes. they? If you look how closely they've got yes. shirts to this incident, look, they, they could easily be a shot coming off there. Yeah. I mean, Kabai could be just moving in Oof. to referees, take a shot on. Referee's got that wrong. I think the referee's bottled that. Yeah, There's no other thing I can say, no other word. 
He's chickened out of that for some and Roy, reason. Roy will be raging when he sees that. And I that. think the proof of the fact that you're right is that Jürgen Klopp took him off about two minutes later. Yes, correct. Because he knew he was going off. Yeah, he knew anything else he was off. Missed time mm -hmm. tackle, he was gone. Cleverly, that's what being a good coach is. Smart. Recognised there was a problem, got him off. Had Liverpool not got back in it, had they not won it, we'd be asking very different questions. Uh, those similar to the questions we were asking at Old Trafford recently when they conceded virtually the same, Andy. Yeah. Long ball down the pitch, touch, goal. Well, it's amazing. Well, it was a, listen, it's a, it's a decent win. He picked a strong side. I wondered if he would with Wednesday coming up, the big game in the Champions League coming up against City. He went out with a, just about his strongest side he could pick. So, no problems are there. They're all fit. They all look healthy. Maybe Adam Lallana, a slight down. Please like the video and subscribe my channel.